All right, all right, all right. It has been a while. So here's something I've been thinking about. There's an update that needs to happen for NASCAR Heat 5 for season mode. You can only have up to two different paint schemes, as I'm realizing. So hopefully they'll get that patched in um, and fix that. So in the meantime, we're going to run a little shootout with the um, road courses. So I've set up a custom season, which was something really cool that they added into the into NASCAR Heat 5, and I really, really like it. But we're going to basically run the six or seven road courses that they have in the game. And we're going to do that to 50%. It's on the normal settings. Um, we've got stages, quick qualify instead of stage qualify. And that way it just moves faster. And we're running Xfinity cars. Um, I'm running the Whataburger car. For some reason, I don't remember this guy's name right off the bat. We'll get it at the end of the race. Um, let me see. This is another cool feature. I'm going to tighten up the car, or excuse me, loosen up the car, and we're just going to jump right into qualification. Now, like I said, we went ahead and made the race is 50%. Since we're only doing six, I figured we can make them a little bit longer. It starts at Watkins Glen, and I'm not 100% sure where it ends, but we'll figure it out. Um, the reason we're doing this is I am somewhat terrible at road courses now. I know if you had watched NASCAR Heat uh, Heat 3, I believe we grabbed a win at Sonoma, and I just cut that corner. And I know we got the win at the Roval. Ooh, we are loose. And I know we got the win at Charlotte Roval, but. NASCAR Heat 5 with the way the mechanics work now. It's a little bit harder to get your car to do what you want. Change some things up and I'm out of practice. Sonoma is completely different. Charlotte Roval is a little bit different. There's no retaining walls around the chicane or anything. Um, and honestly, the Daytona road course might get thrown in. But this captures the road courses from Monster Energy Series, the Xfinity Series, and the Truck Series. All right, so we'll be able to run all of those. I can't remember where we just, we're finishing up with the uh, road course shootout. I can't place my finger on what it is, but that's where the championship's gonna be run. We're gonna keep track of points and stuff. We're going to see how your boy does at road course racing. And right now we're trying to qualify and we're cutting so many corners. Um, I don't know how we didn't get penalized for that, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We're going to hit this and get loose. I do like the new drive mechanics of the game. I don't know what level team this Whataburger car is for. So one of the ideas I had was to do the short tracks next, do all the short tracks and try to do like a lesser name, lesser known driver, do like Ryan Priest or something. I'm gonna wet the bed on this one. Four seconds behind and we still got 17th. Well, the Zippo 200 at the Glen. Let's see, and we are no, that doesn't tell me who I am. Noah Gragson got the pole. I almost chose his car. The reason why I didn't is because I've actually been to a Whataburger in Mississippi. I really like it. I don't live in Mississippi, but it's fun. Chad Fincham. Joker F. Jr. So three guys starting at the back there. Means we move up a position or two. Let's try to open this up with a dub, guys. Driving a Chevy Camaro. 
And that's, you know, during my career mode in NASCAR Heat 3, um, which I might still go back and play a little bit every once in a while. I know I never, and I might start streaming that versus actually putting it on YouTube. Um, but with that all said and done, um, here's a little bit of background with that. So I came in and took over the number 95 car. Decided Casey Kane was going to retire and I was going to take over the car. So we took over the 95. We actually won at Sonoma and got our way into the playoffs. But we decided, or I decided, that I wanted to extend my contract with the Levine Family Racing. So we went ahead and extended that contract and stayed with them for another year. Afterwards, um, you know, just for giggles, we'll say, you know, Christopher Bell came into the picture, so we left our team and took over the number six car, which Advocare was still at, uh, sponsoring. It was Trevor Bain's old ride, and we won at Sonoma again. So, so far, two years into it, clean sweep at Sonoma. And then Kyle Larson got fired. And when Kyle Larson got fired, I kind of thought about it. I was like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take over the 42 and run that for a while. So I ran that for five years, made the playoffs four out of five years. Could never capture a championship. I made the final four two of those years, but couldn't really capitalize. Homestead was not, that was far from our best track. One time it came down to Homestead. Uh, the interesting thing is I was an Xfinity champion. Moving up through that, I wasn't gonna do much in trucks. I got in and out of that as fast as possible. Um, Xfinity, I hung around for a while. And so, after five years of racing the number 42, decided, hey, let's give Larson his ride back. And after five years of sitting out, Larson returns to obviously our virtual virtual team. And I take over the number one. Whoop. I packed him. So we didn't, yeah, we damaged our front end. No, you know, cause for concern at the moment. I'm going to try to keep these races as clean as possible, although I'm all over the back of Clements. Anyway, we took over the number one, and in my opinion, um, from what I was racing, the number one handled better for some reason had a little bit better takeoff. So, All right, you're clear. we ran into that car and when I stopped playing I was in year two. No, year three of driving the number one. I made the playoffs in the final four and actually got second place in the Monster Energy Series year two in that car. So year three Set, we were setting it up. The stage was set. It was, you know, in my mind, an expiring contract. I was ready to, I don't want to say move on from that team. If I could, you know, win a championship there in that third year, I would. If not, that's fine. Here's where we were going to have to make a tough decision was to stay with Chip Kanasi or move teams. So, we elected to move teams. At the end of the year, I had already made up my mind. We were gonna take over the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Because it had been seven, five with the 42, two with the one, three with the one. So it would've been eight, one with trucks, one with dirt. Yeah, it would've been like 11, he would've been in real life, he would have been like 50,000 years old. Just kidding. Probably in his 60s or something, I can tell you. I don't know how old he is. I think he's in his 40s. Either way. If you guys can hear my spotter, my spotter is Jeff Gordon. I got the season pass, so I got him and Tony Stewart. 
as a spotter. I think if they patch through the... If they manage to patch through the um, paint schemes, where I can have more than two paint schemes in a season and in a career, one other crazy thing is you can only have one paint scheme throughout the career mode. That's kind of, you know, one paint scheme per year, which isn't awful because you can switch it up year by year, but I want to see the extra paint schemes. I want to be able to run four or five paint schemes in one year, so got to fix that. We got to fix how many paint schemes you can run during a season because I had already made up my mind who I was going to run. It was going to be Chase Elliott with the Napa car and then his Mountain Dew Zero car and then you also had the Hooters car and the Unifirst car. Oh, sliding. No brakes. All right. I don't know how many laps we have left of this stage, but we're gonna try to nail this down. Four to go. We're gonna try to hold on to a top five spot going to try to. Car is a little tight right now. And I was hoping it would be. I like the car a little bit tighter. You'll notice once we start getting into the season, a lot of the races I run completely with the car completely tight. Now that can pose some problems racing somewhere like Bristol. Ooh, had a caution. Okay, top five. That may have been me. Oh, we're gonna restart. I'm not gonna pit. The left front's looking a little weird, but Let's see, who do we got? Gregson, Briscoe. Briscoe's filthy. Allgaier and Sindrin. So, one heck of a team. One heck of a group of drivers up here at the front. Whoa, somebody to the inside. Who was that? Jeremy Clements. Let's see if we can run him down. Ahead of them. Oh, we're trying to drive the wheels off it, boys and girls. Let's give Cedric a little love tap, let him know we're here. The outside. Concentration is setting in. I would love a stage win to open this up. If not a race win, it would be amazing. Watkins Glen is tough for the pure fact that the guys get strung out a little bit. I don't want to say it's, you know, every man for himself, like somewhere like Auto Club would be, but it's tough. But the new way these cars drive, I like it. There's a little more weight to the car. You can spin your car a little, you know. I don't want to say easier, because the goal is not to spin your car. But your car will open up and just get loose sometimes, like it does in real life. The, the mechanics are a little more realistic. It's not iRacing. This is as close as I can get to it right now. iRacing is expensive. They have a monthly membership and all that. I would love to get into iRacing though, for real. Run for the uh, peak iRacing league. All right, let's see if we can run down Briscoe. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. 
Nine laps to go. But we're just gonna run this road course shootout until we decide. How we're gonna go about a season mode because I do think I want to do season and I might actually try my hand at career mode as well and we'll see where we can go from there if you guys tuned in about a week ago when I first introduced NASCAR Heat 5 to the channel well Twitch channel I announced oh we're loose get out of the wall all right that was fun I drove to Atlanta Georgia about a week, uh, half a week ago, like six days ago or something, blew a tire on the interstate going about 80. Speed limit was about 75 where we were at. We were still about an hour and a half away from where we were supposed to go, and my tire exploded. Well, let me take a look at everything I need, you know. We called tire places around. Some of them weren't open. And Discount Tire, of all places, was open. And they were able to hook us up with, with a tire almost immediately after we came in. So they walked up to the car and met us, took a look. Turns out the tire, and it was a back left. Turns out the tire is 15 years old. Now, granted, my car is old. It's a little 2000 model, but thought I had gotten my tires rotated when I got my car inspected. Now that might be true and that 15 year old tire was sitting on my front left. So, avoided a crisis. I had everything that I needed to change the tire, so that was fun. Out in the middle of like 90 degree weather, middle of Georgia on the side of an interstate and no the, the interesting thing was like no cops stopped to like help out. Usually you see police officers stop when something like this happens. Let's see if I can get a push. Come on, Briscoe, give me a bump. That's fine. Gragson's just gonna run away with stage two. All right, gotta work together, boys. No cops stop. You usually see cops stop and make sure you're okay. But none of them did. And we were kind of, so back left went out. We were in the fast lane. There's a caution. I'm not gonna pit, and we're gonna see how this goes. Jeffrey Earnhardt moved up 25 spots. He had to have just gone for gas. But, oh, that's a question. How many laps of gas do I have? 20 left. All right, we might actually be able to walk away with a stage win here. Ooh, out the way, Briscoe. He's getting loose. You know, we got that changed, and I thought it was funny because Discount Tire, of all places, was open and got us out in about two minutes after we got there. But I'm a Brad Keselowski fan, as you guys know, and Discount Tire sponsors Brad Keselowski. So, and on top of that, the day of recording this, Brad Keselowski took, just took home a victory at New Hampshire. And I am really loose coming out of the chicane there. But we're going to try to take the Whataburger number six Chevy Camaro to victory lane. Briscoe is starting to run us down. I'm hoping because it's a road course, the tires won't necessarily have the effect that they can potentially have. Oh, no. That's no bueno. Here's the hope. And that's not going to work if Briscoe's running us down. But I'm hoping we can make it to the end of the stage on these tires, possibly win the stage come back with fresher tires than everyone else for stage three. Oh, I hit a wall. That's not good. Hello. No. Oh, why couldn't it just, oh no. All right, that's fine, that's fine.
Uh, we're going to pit and take everything. We're going to be in the back of the pack, 35th of 36. And where is Mike Harmon? Not here. Um, we had a guy wreck out. There he is. Trying to place my finger on what car he drives. Oh, we're in the grass. In the grass. Look out, Little. Little tried to turn us, and we're about to get cleaned up by the 44. All right, I'm going to start tapping guys just a little bit, trying to move up the field a little bit faster. Not going to cause a wreck, but hopefully a couple extra... A little bit extra tire wear. Timmy Hill! But hey. behind me trying to figure out who's out there and I ran right into the to the wall there keep have this sneaking suspicion that somebody's starting to run me down can I please get a top 10 at least this time around listen I know I'm not great at road courses, but I need to make up for the absolute, like, crap fest Charlotte Roval is going to be. I'm going to have to get in and practice a lot before I even race, just to get the hang of it. And Sonoma as well. Oh! Sorry, C. To the inside, Jeffrey Earnhardt. Oh, that's way too far outside. We're tight. 97% tire wear. It's going to ignore that. We got 20 laps left. And we are starting to drive really, really poorly. I'm not as patient right now. I'm trying to make up as many spots as possible, drive the absolute wheels off the car. It might not be working so well. This is Austin Cindric up here. He, if it is, he's dropped like a rock. Let me know what you guys think of this little road course shootout and if I should do it with the trucks or something or if you guys want to see the short tracks with trucks or whatever. I'm totally down to do it until they fix uh, Ross, Ross Chastain out the way. You got room. You're clear. Michael and Nat. Right side. Is that Ryan Truex right here? Nope, you got Justin room. Aylin. You're clear. Who has decided to brake check. He's spin, He's about to spin. I can, I'm watching him back there. I'm watching you in my rear view mirror, bro. Get, no, go away. Guys, I tried to protect. He was not having it. I'm just not gonna give him the spot though. I'm not that courteous of a driver. I'm not giving you a spot for free. I tell you what though, driving to Atlanta, Georgia with a five speed with no cruise control is brutal. Seven hours. Yeah, it was seven hours and no cruise control and you're working with a five speed. You know, I would have been a lot more okay going up there if the tire hadn't, you know, kind of froze on us, but 
It's all good. Oh, we're going to the outside again. No! That's fun. You gotta love slamming into the wall. I mean, I guess it helped, sort of. We're up with the lead pack, but... I don't know how that's gonna look for our aerodynamics. It's at 96%, so we might not be in the best of shape, but Noah Gragson is up here. Harrison Burton with the new uh, Toyota Supras. I do like the Supras. If I drove my custom car, that would be a Supra. That's the only Toyota I've ever really driven. And it's not that I don't have, you know, it's not that I have a preference. I guess technically as a Brad Keselowski fan, my preference is Ford. But I've just never driven a Toyota, so if we start a career in like the Xfinity series or something, then maybe I'll take over a Toyota. Maybe I'll take over Fincham's Toyota, kick him out. Got a little bit of draft from Burton here. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to run down Gragson up there, and I think Briscoe's up there as well. Sounds about right. We're gonna try to get it done. Give me a push, bud. Who's behind me? Jeremy Clemens. He might not be happy with me. I think we got into it at the beginning of the race, if I remember correctly. Here we go, Bert. Oh, we're running down Allgaier as well. The chicane is so much harder to navigate. Heat three, you could pretty much fly through um, 20 miles an hour faster than anybody else was. And I know I was playing heat three, so not as good as heat four, but by the time I kind of got interested in heat four, E5 was out, my birthday was rolling around. We may have just royally screwed Austin Cindric. That's not good, because he's a Team Penske. Uh, we gave up the spot to Allgaier, I guess. Still trying to run down the leaders, though. Allgaier, Gregson, and I think that's Briscoe up front. Oh. Oh no, we're loose again. Save it. Thank you. Might have to deal with the top five, boys. Possibly no stage win today. Concentration mode is set in. I'm in the top five, and I'm not looking to give it up, and I don't think Austin Sendrick's gonna be happy with me. So I definitely don't wanna have to give that up to him. We're trying to push our way up front, guys. It's hard, it's really hard. Voice is cracking, everything's uh, an uphill battle, 12 laps. I guarantee you some of these guys could probably use tires. And I'm in the wall. Cindric is cooking, he's running me down. I can see him back there. And he's not making me have fun. Oh no, 
No, we're tight. We're tight. We're tight. We're tight. Cedric, no. Throw a block. Ah, oh, he's a little farther back, I guess. He got biased there, though. I lifted a lot earlier than he did. Here comes Harrison Burke, trying to finish us off here. Not sure if it's gonna work, but, oh, baby. Easy, Tiger. Keep getting into the grass right there, and I think it kills so much of my speed. Oh, loose, very loose, and then tight right there. Come on, we can get Cendric. We can catch Cendric. We're catching Cendric. Give him a little bump and run. Whoop. That's not really what I wanted. Well, that went well. Gave that spot right back up. Let's try this. I'm terrified, but we're gonna try it. Never ever ridden a road course in first person. Come on, we can catch him. We can catch him. Do a little crossover. Is he gaining on me? Stay right. Oh. Took a punch on the side. Cindric is spinning. Oh no. Oh, we're going for it. We're going for it. I don't know how many laps we have left, but we gotta hang on to this, guys. This is too good to be true. Let's go. This is another good camera angle. It's a little spaced back so you can see who's running up on you from behind. Chase Briscoe, we've got the lead. We've got the lead. Wow, we're running away with it just a little bit. We got space now, and I'm gonna try to keep it as best as possible. We got almost a second on Briscoe. How many laps are left? Too many for my liking. Because of that turn right there, we're not going around again. We're going around again. Oh, we involved Gregson a little bit. Allgaier, Cendric, yeah, just pile up, pile drive. Ah, oh, we're still top three. You get so loose if you skip over that barrier, not a barrier, but that drive line there. It's, you can get messed up. Four laps to go, can I get the inside line? We got it. All guy are making a run. Four laps left. Let's drive this into victory lane. That dirt. I just love to get in that dirt just a little bit. All guy might be running us down here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy. Easy. All right, now go. This might be my fastest lap tonight.
Oh no, don't do it again. Jeez Louise. It's that one corner, and then I think this corner here. I can complete it, but I end up getting run down. Three laps left. Can we hang on? For dear life is what we're doing now. Lifted just a little bit going into that turn. Would have swung out and hit the wall. We go with the outside line here. Oh, I didn't lift enough. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Easy. Easy there, Haas. I'm talking to myself now. Come on. Drive. Drive the wheels off this thing. It's okay. Is is just a trip to victory lane too much to ask for? That was perfect. That was a perfect corner. Do it again. Oh, gorgeous. When it counts. Two to go. Two to go. Let's roll. Yellow's out. Back or down. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. That's probably the worst thing that could ever happen this race. All right. Be smart out here. NASCAR Boys, overtime. Ready. Green, white, checker. Can we go. make it through? All right. Another couple of laps. Can we get two laps on this? Oh, that's way too far outside. All Geyer's getting that. Chase him down. All right, you're clear. We had the better release. I'm in the wall there. Usually, recently I have been hitting that, but now All Geyer's running us down because I just love that dirt there. All those tire marks you see near there are all me. Chicane, beautiful. Less than stellar, but I'll take it. Had to lift. That's okay, though. Let's lift about here. Go back into it a little bit. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Easy. It's going to be us and all guy for the finish. I'm gonna put a body into him. Come on. We got speed on him on the straightaways. If we can capitalize on those, we might be able to take it home. Oh no. Oh no, we're spinning. Do a donut, get back into it. Oh no, not another donut. No! Overtime line. That's so disappointing. What a way to finish first race. Fifth. That was okay, I guess. I am more than disappointed. Down a lap? Nope. Not down a lap at all. Had a couple down two and one down six. And Mike Harmon down 33. That's rough, guys. Well, let's see what the standings are. Gragson. Allgaier won this one. Greg's in. Briscoe's still in front. He must have won the stages. That's impressive. Well, we'll figure it out. All right. Well, let's get back into the lobby here. Gregson with the fastest lap at a minute 13.051. Chase Briscoe led the most with 22 laps. Wish it would tell us how much we led. Ross Chastain started 27th, finished 12th. So he's our on-the-move driver. And the tough break driver, Jesse Little, started 17th, finished 31st. All right, we're going to finish the event. Head back to the garage, team garage. we got team meetings coming up. I'm pissed. 
And we couldn't capitalize on that. We got a little bit loose there. And it just wasn't going to work. All right, Mid-Ohio is next. Two out of six. So let me see. What is the final race here? Canada Tire, Charlotte Roval, Sonoma, Road America for the championship. Maybe what we can do is do 100% because the Road America race is only going to be 23 laps at half. That's technically the championship. Hmm. All right, Mid-Ohio next, guys. We will uh we'll see you then.